We hear a lot about the presidential campaigns, but this November, all 140 seats in the Virginia General Assembly are up for election. In the 25th District of the House of Delegates, Democrat Angela Lynn is challenging incumbent Republican Steve Landis. The 25th District consists of parts of Albemarle, Augusta, and Rockingham counties. We hear from Ms. Lynn today and Delegate Landis tomorrow. And joining us is Angela Lynn. She lives in Whitehall in Albemarle County with her husband and has raised five children. Angela, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Now, Angela, why are you running? I'm running because in 2013 I went to vote and I saw that no one was opposing Steve Landis and I wondered why. And so I knew I had to take a stand because I'm running to represent every voter, not just special interest. Okay. What are your qualifications for office? Well, I have served in my community and many communities around the nation. I was a teacher, a, a volunteer, a, a director, and I also have time as a uh, business owner, a small business owner, and I have uh, served in major disasters as a responder and a, re and a recovery um, specialist in FEMA. Okay. And currently I serve on the Department of Social Service Advisory Board in Albemarle County and the Public Recreational Facility Authority. And most importantly, I'm a wife and the mother of five children who graduated from the public school system. And two of those children, a son and a daughter, are, are, are pilots that are going to serve in our military, United States military. Okay. Uh, what issues are you campaigning on? Well, redistricting. I feel that every voter should be able to vote and have its vote heard. Uh, currently, the voters are not choosing their politicians. The pro politicians are choosing their voters. How so? Well, the, the redistricting, uh, the legislators who choose to use partisan politics and have uh, gerrymander their districts are robbing the, the voters, the people of their right to vote. So. Um, Hundreds of thousands of tax Virginia or taxpayers' money is going into federal and state uh, legal fees, and so I feel that that is something. Why should why should we be stuck with uh, with trying to to uh, to be able to fund the 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 political problems that these cronyisms, Richmond cronyism, is is causing? What do you mean when you say that uh, all this money is going into the uh, lawsuits or, or well, hundreds of thousands of dollars are spent right now on lawsuits to protect re, to protect those districts, and so there it's at defend, the federal to defend the defend districts them. on the state level and federal level. Okay. Yes, right now, and so uh, with redistricting, I favor a nonpartisan redistricting commission. And Steve Landis was on the Privileges and Election Committee that voted that down, and so a nonpartisan redistricting committee would restore faith trust and integrity to the uh, to the process. So in other words, the districts would be more competitive, you're saying? They wouldn't be gerrymandered to favor one party or the other? Right, they'd, be, they'd be compact and they would be able to, the people would have a representative that really gave them a, a chance to vote with some competitive and open and fair elections, yes. Okay. Um, another issue uh, in your campaign is Medicaid expansion? Yes. Medicaid expansion could create uh, 30,000 permanent Virginia jobs and cover over 400,000 uninsured or underinsured Virginians, of which 27,000 of those are in my district. But if we are losing millions of hard-earned Virginia taxpayer dollars by not, by not expanding Medicaid and billions in possible economic expansion. So when the critics say Medicaid expansion would be a burden on Virginia taxpayers, actually the, the experts agree that the ec economic growth would be able to cover the share of the Virginia's cost. Okay. And another issue is education funding. Yes, education has um, a lot of, I'm, I'm a teacher, I, I worked in middle and, and high school level and in higher education and I got a degree from, my master's degree from the College of William and Mary, so I really understand this issue. I understand what the administrators and the teachers and the parents are going. The college costs are rising and the administrators are leaving, uh, the college professors are leaving from JMU and UVA to different locations. So we need to fund it all the way through pre-K and, 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 and Delegate Land has voted against pre-K funding in 2012 and I feel that w if I were elected I would be right away restoring all of the education Commonwealth's education support program okay Angela Lynn the Democratic nominee for the Virginia House of Delegates 25th district seat thank yeah. you for joining us thank you now for more information on Angela Lynn's campaign just go to our website whsv.com and click on links
and tomorrow we will talk with the incumbent republican steve landis. carolyn?